This week on Tip Tuesday, we want to talk about dogs that are reactive and dogs that aren't reactive. So we have two dogs out here. That's a friendly dog uh, over there, and this is a not friendly dog towards other dogs. We do not want to let our friendly dogs go up to other dogs because we don't know if they're friendly or not, even if your dog is, is friendly. So what we want to do is make sure people understand that uh, this dog isn't friendly and that a fight could potentially happen. So that's kind of what this would look like. No, it's not friendly. Oh, it's okay. He's friendly. No, this one's not. <laughs> so a couple different ways that you can advocate for your dog is number one, create some space. So if a dog's coming the other way, I'm going to just create a little space. I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to create some space. Okay. Now look at this staring. That is a correctable offense because I know things are building up in this dog's head. Another thing that I can do is I can switch the dog to my other side. So I can kind of block with my body. It's a great way to avoid running into issues with the dog if you have a reactive dog. And it's also a great way to avoid issues if your dog isn't reactive, but your dog comes up to a reactive dog. But just keep in mind, just because your dog is friendly doesn't mean the other dog is friendly. If you have your dog off leash and you're allowing your off leash dog to approach other dogs, that's on you. It's not really on them if your dog gets injured by that reactive dog. They were doing the responsible thing by putting their dog on a leash. There are leash laws for a reason and it's to help protect people and dogs alike. 